Good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Hello, it's Jonathan from Enigma Photos. Today we are going to do a tutorial. This tutorial is a fun one for me because it's a cool aspect of photography and it's making a panorama. Um, when you make a panorama, generally you have to stitch some pictures together and I'm going to show you how I do it within Lightroom. Um, and just a a quick note with the the new update I think it's the 8.2 or 8 point something like that anyway Lightroom is so much faster I use Lightroom a lot especially when I'm doing color corrections and things like that on my time lapses and um, this new Lightroom is like night and day difference it used to be so slow in fact I built a uh, custom PC to do rendering more so video rendering and things like that but I also 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 use it for doing time lapses and it's so much better than what it was before it was the one hanging point or the one slowdown and I was like wow I built this amazing computer that's super fast except it's not with Lightroom so that's a good thing so anyway back to the tutorial so what we're gonna be doing is merging I think 22 images so what we're gonna do is go ahead and import them in to Lightroom which is pretty straightforward I already have a folder in my pictures folder called panorama horseshoe Bend. and if you haven't been to horseshoe Bend, that's really should be a place on your bucket list it's one of the most outstanding beautiful glorious places on the planet and it is really really cool it's a few miles outside of Utah and it's 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 awesome Utah's awesome so is Arizona hell Colorado there are a lot of beautiful places. Anyway, I digress. So the next thing you do is you import these images into Lightroom. So it'll take a few seconds here to put the images in and build the standard previews. So we'll take a moment here and when it's done, we'll continue. Now that it's completed, bringing in the images and making the standard previews, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and click develop and go to the first image and with any image there needs to be some lens corrections done things like that so what I'll do is go ahead and do that to the first image then I'll go over here to copy hit copy and as you can see the settings that I want it to fix are right here and it's selected it's a lens corrections profile corrections all that so I'll go ahead and copy that and then I will select all the images afterwards go through and select them and you can also hold shift and it'll select from one point to the next point so that makes it easier and faster go ahead and select them and then hit paste and it will go through all these images and add those corrections once I've done that I will go ahead and select the first one where we did the first corrections on after doing that I will sit there on Mac hold control and go up to photo merge and we're going to photo merge to panorama so I'm going to go ahead and click that <clears throat> and what it's doing now is creating a panoramic panoramic preview for us so we're going to let it go ahead and do that and then I'll be back once it's done and there we go now it has merged all of our images together and as you can see I was a little bit wonky on the whole panoramic and making it pretty much even the way I shot it but that's okay because I can go in and crop so since I like the way it looks I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to merge and now it's going to merge all the pictures together once it's done I'll be right back alright so we are done with the merging and let's see what it looks like boy that's really funny because I sat there and said ah oh, the new Lightroom so fast and it's so this and it's so that and it's being so slow and I don't know why there we go so that is our merged image now all you have to go in and do is go in to the crop tool there we go okay see I take it all back with Lightroom because now it's just messing with me 
I shouldn't have said anything positive about Adobe product or anything like that because now it's going to mess with me. But there we go. We can bring it in like that. And boom, you have your final image. So it's really not that hard. Um, I would say the hardest part about shooting a panorama is making sure you get everything you want within the shot without deviating too much um, and missing important spots. So definitely a tripod makes things a lot easier. You can do them handheld, but if you really want the clearest, most crystal clear shots, where you can zoom in and see a whole bunch of amazing detail, as you can see from this shot. Uh, you really want to have it on a tripod and then just very slowly make sure you precisely take your shots. Have, make sure you don't have too much movement and um, you should be able to pull off a really, really, really decent panorama. This was also shot with the uh, Sony a7R II, so it shows a lot of detail with those 42 megapixels, as you can see in the picture. So I hope this helps you uh, merging a panorama. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. The next tutorial, we're actually going to go in to this picture and work on it a little bit so I can show you the different things that I do, um, what the different things like, you know, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, whites, blacks, clarity, how that can be used to enhance the picture. Or you could just, you know, everybody has their own style. You can do it the way you want to do it. But this will just show you how you can make it a little bit prettier. I hope this helps. I'll talk to you soon.